studies have proven that listening to nature sounds and walking and breathing in the forest and the woods and being outside and being grounded to the earth that it really brings you to your roots and um, I, I know it to be true because every time I go into the woods I feel the best ever my soul feels lit like I feel very connected to Abba I, I feel like I belong in the woods in I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel my best self when I'm in, in the woods, especially alone. <laughs> you can hear the babies playing in the background. Steven's playing with them at the playground. I just went off and went in the woods. Because it's, it's really important that we get these, these times where we're alone and just regroup and reconnect. We're living in really hard times. It's it's really hard to really hear him and like just stay right there with him on top of raising a family. Some of you go to work for hours like my husband does and like some of you are mothers that stay at home and take care of kids but yet you're you're trying so hard to like grab on to your spiritual walk and it's getting tougher and tougher. Like hang in there. I I know. I know how it feels. It's, it's, it's tough. It's really tough trying to balance out what you know is right and, and that you know he's coming back. And like for years you've been hearing about it and then it's kind of like you get off from hearing about it anymore and you're just like, when is he coming back? He's coming back. He's coming back. He has not left us or forsake us. He's here. He's all around us. I feel him the most when I'm outside in the woods. There he is. Shining. I know it's hard, brothers and sisters. I know. I know some of us, like, you men out there, women out there, you guys work really hard and you're trying to balance out your spiritual walk and you're busting your butts in your physical jobs and trying to stay strong in your spiritual walk. There's mothers like myself who just stay at home and they're around noise all the time with their kids and and you just want to be in your spirit all the time. I know how hard it is, but you gotta try to fight, fight for your walk. Just the littlest things that you're trying to show him means so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Keep seeking him out. Don't let it go. Don't let your light sniff out. We're all going through it. I'm going through it. My husband's going through it. Other people are going through it. it we're living in like the really like the hardest of the hardest times right now where it seems like he's so hard to get right now. It's like there's a famine on his word. There's, it's, it's lost almost feeling. And it's, it's there though, it's there. Just, just don't lose it. Keep fighting for it. I know a lot of you guys expect me to have dreams to share and I just haven't been having any dreams. I'm in a season in my life where he's pulling me in a different direction. And it's to inspire and encourage people with their children and their family life and to see God's beauty through a, a crazy world right now. You know, I find contentment and I occupy my time. If you hear any screaming in the background, it's my husband playing with the babies at the park. I just went off in the woods. We're just, we're living in hard times right now. And yeah, there's so much that I wanna talk to you guys about. And it's just like my words, they can't come out anymore on camera. It's, I don't know. But all I know is that I love you guys so very much. And I'm sorry that I'm not doing enough of what everybody might be expecting of me. I, I just, I feel so strongly that he's coming back so soon that I just am occupying my time and taking care of my family right now. And I feel like I've had a point in my life where I did and shared everything I possibly could. And he's just not allowing me 
to have any any dreams of what's going on in these end days and if I do I will definitely definitely upload it and share it with everybody um, I just haven't been having any dreams I honestly don't have enough sleep time to actually have dreams um, I got four kids and yeah so that's what I really wanted to say I felt really led to talk to you guys and say that um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video with uh, me and the little bunny kind of having an Alice in Wonderland experience. Um, those little experiences are very precious to me and very special. Uh, I feel like they're ABBA in disguise, like trying to talk to me and get me to see through, you know, his, his animals, his nature. That's how I hear and see him the most. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I love you guys so much. Never feel like you can't comment down in the comment box and, and socialize with me just because I have family videos. They're for everybody. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.